Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Knockups with your E. If he ults onto you, he ends up behind you, so you can just flip him quite comfortably. Uh, but the Akali coming in for Zekia, so really committing onto this dive thread and a pick that Zekia has had fantastic success Akali on. Akali really helps you to sort of. Okay, going to try to continue on this play. Keen has no ideas. Now the ping is going to come out in mid, but might be a bit too late as the Rek'Sai ult. Hard to get away from this one as Keen is just so dead, and they're going to get first blood over to Zekka here on his Akali. Yeah, really great timing, and Keen just not completed for Pays is a nice spike. We'll have to see how the fight breaks out. All right, well, X flash over the wall. They want to engage on the Sejuani. Not the best pick, but now the 1v1 in the mid lane as well. And now the Zeri looking to chase down, but the Thelios damage over the wall. And now the TP coming in from Keen. But here is Dorn as well, looking to turn it on to the Urgot, who is left all alone. And down he will go as Viper picks up a kill in this game, the second for Hamalai Esports. Yeah, I think just a bit early for Genji to cut through the front line. To do damage to be consistent is very important. As Peanut is going to drop down the Rift Herald. This was spotted that they were doing this, but Genji just selecting to let it go. And now Keen is kind of like just alone here. Um, there is a turret, but it's nearly gone. And you would imagine that, yeah, they're just going to turn on to Keen here. The Black Cleaver is getting some work done into Doran, but no flash, no help, and no Urgot. He's just dead. Yep, completely isolated here, and Genji might try and look on the other side, but you're trying to dive in Alistair, it's a hard ask. And in the meantime, a second charge comes through. So um, Genji gonna start up the Drake. How many Esports say, well, we already have two Drakes, but they are still going to TP into this one. The Light has a fantastic angle, Genji. Caught between a rock and a hard place that Wukong already getting started. They engage on that back line as Pays. He does survive for a bit and down will go the Zeri, but now Zekka is a huge force to be reckoned with as Chovy is left alone on the right side. But there is the fear coming in from, Udin, from the Urgot, and that should be enough to turn this fight around as Doran is the one to survive, but the rest of his teammates are gone. For Pays, I suppose. As a TP. They could back off now and be happy with getting the TP if they wanted. Yeah. Uh, the hook is going to miss, though, and there's the engage the turn onto the Urgot, who is so tanky but not tanky enough, immediately goes down the turn. Super crisp from the side of Hamalife Esports. That's going to get the top laner of Genji down. And now a 5v4 situation for Hamalife Esports, plus that teleport you were talking about. Uh, uh, no, he's fine. He's right. Yeah, he's right. I feel like the Eagles doing so much damage with the AOE Shred. Oh, wait. Oh, no. They had a ward. Pays backing in a very precarious spot. He has to flash, and now he's got Nikali on him. He's just dead. Down goes Pays. Essentially, for Bree is now the hands, desperate to save his teammates, but nearly goes down himself. And you know, that is look a how low. Huge chunk of damage gone. Look how low Keen and Lahens are already. Yeah. And they can easily turn if they want to. I mean, here we go. There's the turn. A massive Wukong ultimate as the divide is huge from the side of Jovi, but you can't get away from the Akali just right on top of them as they continue. But Jovi is getting huge value. They go so far into the Azir that, uh, you know, I don't think you're going to be able to take out the Rek'Sai, though, as Jovi, he's still going to give it a try. He's still full health. They never got on top of the Azir. Did Hollow Knight. those, not only does this mean that Hollow Knight Esports are still really far away from the soul, but it means Elder is not going to be a prospect for a long time. Uh, they're committing to this Baron, although you can see, you can tell they're looking for a turn as well. As the angle coming in, that ult from the Sejuani not going to do anything, as here is the turn. Zekka on the flank, the Zeri ultimate is going to be popped as a big engage comes in from that, and a oh. massive follow up from Delight as. They get in the back of it, but look at Toby. He's still full health. He's still turning this one around alongside Akeen. And now it's going to be Zekka against Toby. And Zekka with a triple kill already. He is looking to finish this one off. He's got Doran with him as well. The Q timing is off, but it's still a quadra for what Zekka a, in the team fight. What a huge team fight for Hunwalife Esports. Played so good. Try to lock down. If you ult Doran, it does basically nothing. Uh -oh. He'll be flanked. This is from Zekka. He is so fed right now. He is so gigantic. And they're engaging on Terexai. I mean, they have a huge amount of damage, but it's Terexai, guys. Is the engage for Delight not that great, actually? Doesn't get in the back line. Page is totally fine. And the fight is broken up here. Hunwalife Esports do not fight. Find the angle and Gen G, they turtle up and they win this one in a big way. Two kills already. And you see the difference in this situation. You know, they didn't have Doran and Zekka flanking there. It was basically just Zekka. Yeah, they, they have to give it up. They just don't have the time. And yes, they're mobile, they'll get away. But this is a thanks for the leash moment 
as they go from Baron to the Cloud Drake, and now Genji a free Cloud Drake. He absolutely was not in that last fight as Chovy, I suppose, stacking the wave as much as he possibly yeah. To the minions. They don't have wave clear unless they get in melee range, so... And even that, it's not great. So they're going to keep all three. Kenny Urgot doesn't get to play the game. And such a good job of just checking these flanks consistently. Yeah. And here we go. This turret should fall. I mean, there's not even minions in range, just the Void Bubs. And that will be enough. They will take down the top inhibitor. It's, just, it's crazy how Honor Life Esports have these really orchestrated plays to kill Pays. And then Genji so quickly cheered around on a Viper. Yeah. Lens is going to flash away. Now the counter engage does come in, but that's a wreck side. That's not the target. You guys want to hit it now? The Seri is going insane mode. They way overextend in this fight. And now Gen G are going to pay the price as Pays loses his GA. And one small mistake, one mistimed engage, and immediately Hamalai Life Esports are back on top. What was going through the heads? Oh, Doran snipes Chovy here. This oh, huge, boy. They, they might actually be able to get so. Could they even end here? They're gonna it's try. Side. He could just stop Chovy recalling forever. Well, even if they don't get the end, they will take the mid inhibitor. And Doran absolutely will tank up this turret. You think he, he cares? Take damage. He doesn't take damage. He does not care at all. Oh, oh. great timing. Yeah, he doesn't have the knockup now. And uh, so Doran's just gonna TP in. They're going for the end as they dive on a Chovy. And he's on you as he stays alive. Zekka's taking the turret. They can't take out the tank is here. Doran doesn't do enough damage. I don't think they can end now. Uh, they're going to try. The Nexus is bare. They are hitting it. And the Zeri just does too much. The knockup comes in oh. from Doran and denies the engage. And that is game number one going into the hands.